In my favorite Looney Tunes cartoon of all time, there is a man with a talking dog, and they're auditioning for this talent agent, and the man asks, who is the greatest baseball player of all time? And the dog says, Ruth. The man and the dog get thrown out of the office, and the dog turns to the man and asks, maybe I should have said DiMaggio? Every baseball season, it is debated. Who was the greatest baseball player of all time? With all the great ones, Ruth, DiMaggio, Mantle, Williams, Mays, Clemente, it is a wide-open question. However, if anyone asks me, I will always say, Hank Aaron. The Hammer has had a few critics over the years. They say on defense he sometimes lumbered in the outfield, or he spent two years with the Brewers as a DH. First of all, he was a very speedy player. As a young man, he played a few games at third base, second base, and first during his career. He had 31 stolen bases in 1963 and 28 stolen bases in 1968, his 14th year in the majors. When he went to the Brewers, it brought attention to a young, struggling franchise. It wasn't as if he padded his stats as a DH with the Brewers. He had 12 home runs in 1975 and 10 his last year in the majors in 1976. He played four games in the outfield with Milwaukee, 22 total home runs during that two-year span. And Go ahead and subtract 22 from his home run total of 755 if you want. You still wind up with 733. That is still an almost untouchable record. He never hit 61 or 62 in a season. He did, however, hit at least 40 home runs in a season eight times. The most was 47 in 1971, supposedly in the twilight of his career. And at least 30 home runs in a season. He did that seven times. Aaron also leads the all-time list in other categories. He knocked in 2,297 RBI, scored 2,174 runs in 12,364 at-bats, and he had 3,771 hits. I saw Hank Aaron on TV recently, and he said he thinks of the recent barrage of mostly average hitters who are easily slugging 30 home runs. He thinks Ken Griffey Jr. is the only one that could someday break his all-time home run record of 755. I think Griffey Jr. is a great player. However, I hope that he doesn't break that record, or anyone else for that matter. It seems to me that Hank Aaron has never gotten the recognition that he deserves for his longevity and for what he did for baseball. Aaron says that records are made to be broken, and his will be someday. I hope a lot of time passes, though, before it is, because perhaps then people will realize what an accomplishment that 755 home runs was, and maybe Hank will be at the top of more lists of the greatest player of all time. I'm Phil Nee.